Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Hello, everybody. It's Paul Neeson with Torah Life Ministries. Thank you for joining us this morning. We are continuing reading the Bible every day, reminding believers the six things we need to do on a regular basis. Pray, praise, proclaim, read, and repent, and submit. Remember the song. Praise, pray, and proclaim. Read and repent, submit. And uh, we need to do those things. Make a checklist and do those things on a daily basis. We are reading Psalms 34 this morning. I uh, just want to encourage you to hear the word each day and hopefully read the word each day and be in the word. Uh, these are not just words on a paper. These are words by a holy creator uh, who gave us these uh, words set apart from anything else that we would read them. In this Psalm, there's so many uh, great things uh, that King David wrote here uh, and so many great verses that could just inspire us on a daily basis in this psalm. So we're going to start off with uh, the first phrase, uh, verse in Psalm 34. I will praise Yahweh at all times. I will consistently speak his praises. So now there's several words in this psalm that are so important. First of all, it says praise, remember, uh, pray, praise, and proclaim. These are things we need to be doing on a, a daily basis. And then I want you to circle, I want you to underline, I want you to highlight the word all. I will praise Yahweh at all times, not sometimes, not when things seem like they're going good or seem things when they're going not so good, all times, no matter what's happening, I will praise him. Then in the next line, it says, I will consistently speak his praises, consistently on a regular basis over and over again. I will speak, uh, I will speak his praises. Verse two, I will boast only in Yahweh. Let all who are helpless take heart. Come and let us tell of Yahweh's greatness. Let us exclaim his name together. So proclaiming, we need to go out and proclaim. Remember, praise, pray, and proclaim. Getting his word out there, proclaiming the good news of Yahshua. Telling people who died for them and why they're here today and why they even have another chance, and that is uh, because of Yeshua. So pray, praise and proclaim. And he goes in verse 4, I prayed to Yahweh, and he answered me. He freed me from my fears. So we got pray, we got praise, and we got proclaiming. All that in this, ver this psalm right here. And then it's read and repent and submit, and we'll see that as well. So we see the the, the pray, praise, and proclaiming. So now we said, I prayed to our creator, and he answered me. The greatest blessing of all scripture is our creator to hear our prayers and answer them. And, and, and he will not give his ear to the wicked, only to the righteous. So he says, I prayed to Yahweh, our creator, and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. So what was his answer? He put David at peace. He put his peace over him. He protected him. And freedom said, you don't need to fear anything because you're coming to me and I'm going to take care of everything. And we have to know that. And we have to take things to him and know he's taking care of things. We don't need to worry about, about anything else knowing that he has this. He's taking care of this. So he says, those who look uh, to him for help will be radiant with joy. No shadow of shame will darken his face. Now, David is, 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 is not just saying these prayers, he's singing them. And in a po poetic way, I mean, there's even a verse coming up talking about him tasting uh, Yahweh. It's so beautiful and po po poetic. Uh, but here, I, you know, when he, when he talks of, about those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy and no shadow of shame will darken his face. That is like the most beautiful poetry, the most beautiful song, and the most truest verse. Uh, so uh, the next verse says, for the angel of Yahweh is a God, uh, is a God. He surrounds and defends us, uh, all who fear him. And we see all throughout the original covenant, when David wrote this, all throughout the new covenant, uh, Yahweh has his angels. Um, but uh, the, the, the one that's consistently coming up here in scripture is Yahshua, Yahshua, who is Yahweh's salvation. That's what it means. That's what the word means, our Messiah. He surrounds us and defends us. Uh, all who fear him. So we need to fear our creator. Uh, that has to be the thing we seek every day, to fear our creator and not fear man. And here it is in verse eight, it says, and this is so poetic. It says, taste and see that Yahweh is good. 
Remember, oh, this is so poetic and beautiful. Taste and see that Yahweh is good. Oh, the joys of those who take refuge in him. Hallelujah. Oh, it's so good. Uh, and, and and I got so much joy going on in my life. And, and I, I read that and I think, and I think about he has to become part of our DNA. Where, where when it comes down, when we're, when we're pressed for something that we don't even think about it. We don't think about it because that's where fear sets in. Well, what happens if we lose, lose our life if we, if we go out there and proclaim him? What happens if, if something happens in this world? No, we don't think about that because, well, you know, he protects us and, and we fear him, not man. And, uh, you know, so taste him, make him become part of you uh, and see how good he is. And, uh, and, and verse eight, fear Yahweh, you, you, his godly people, for those who fear him will have all they need. You know, it says in the scriptures that uh, if you are diligent to his word, all will be well with you. All will be well with you is, is confirmed right here in verse 9, is you will have all you need. Every single thing you need will be taken care of, and you just got to do one thing. Fear Yahweh. And if you fear Yahweh, you're going to submit to his word. You're going to repent if you mess up. You're going to happily come to him praying. You're surely going to be praising, and you're definitely going to be proclaiming. Hallelujah. That's what we need to be doing. So pray, praise, and proclaim, and to fear him, all that fear him have all they need, okay? Underline, highlight, and circle the word all, all again. Not some things they need, every single day, day, thing they need. How many of you watching right now would rather have every single need of theirs met? Not even says the, 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 the wants, everything they need will be met, whether it's money, whether it's your job, whether it's your family, whether it's your relationship, everything, everything, because he doesn't lie, and he says, you know, the joys of those who take refuge in him, you know, it says, they will have all they need. And Yah's smarter than we are. He knows what we need, and he knows when we need it. It says, uh, even the strong young lions uh, sometimes go hungry, but those who trust in Yahweh will lack no good thing. Hallelujah. It's so good. And so much joy that comes to us knowing this and living this. And we can't be shaken. We can't be shaken when we see these words and we know what's going on. And this was a time David wrote this when he was in distress. He was going to one of the kings here, uh, and 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 he he tried to get out. He was acting crazy when he wrote this, you know, to to get out of this. But but he sang this. He sang this, and the words that just came out of him was so poetic. He said in verse eleven, "Come, my children, and listen to me." So listen, listen to hear. So come, my children, and listen to me, and I will teach you the fear of our Creator, the fear of our Creator. And it said, "The beginning of wisdom is the fear of Yahweh in Scripture." right? So come to me and I will give you wisdom. That's what we need, wisdom. It says, does anyone want to have a life that is long and prosperous to keep your tongue from speaking evil and your lips from telling lies? Turn away from evil and do good. Search for people. Work to maintain it. So we got to consistently work at it and, uh, and, and consistently uh, put the practice in because practice does make perfect. We're either practicing sin or we're practicing righteousness, one or the other. There's no neutrality with our creator. We need to remember that. It says in verse 15, the eyes of Yahweh watch over those who do right. His ears are open to their cries for help. I tell you, folks, the ear is the blessing. The ear of Yahweh is the blessing. And here it is. I mean, this psalm covers everything we need to be doing on a regular basis. The eyes of Yahweh watch over those who do right. So those are righteous. He's protecting you. When it says he hates those that are unrighteous or he hates workers of iniquity, you don't understand. It's not the same thing like the hate that, that we have. No, the hate of our creator is said he's not watching over us. He, you know, he's not going to take us out of those situations. He's going to leave it us to ourselves if we want it up to ourselves. But he says, those that have their eyes set on me, those are the ones who I would watch over. Those are the ones I'm going to take care of. Uh, and his ears are open to those, uh, to, to their cries for help. So whose cries for help? Who is he going to hear? You know, it says, those who do right. Those that do wrong, his ear is closed to you. Those that do right, his ear is open to you. It says, but, but Yahweh turns his face against those who do evil. He will erase their memory from the earth. I mean, it's right here. I mean, this one psalm covers it all of what we need to be doing on a regular basis. He rescues them from all their troubles. Verse 18, Yahweh is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. And this first right here helped me so much when I was going through uh, so many trials this past year. And just to think about that, that 
He doesn't leave us when things are going hard. He's, he's there closer to us trying to pull us out. But, but, but he, he wants us to do one thing, and that is uh, to do what is right according to his word and trust in him. And like David had trust and David had faith, and that's what we need. It says in verse 18, the righteous person faces many troubles, but Yahweh comes to rescue each time, all the time, every time. In uh, verse uh, verse 20, for Yahweh protects the, the bones of the righteous. Not one of them is broken. I mean, the, the, the poetry, the, the depth, the understanding of, of, of David's connection to, to, to Yah here and, and, and just to feel it and, and to know that he's protecting us to every single cell in our body, even our bones he protects. Uh, and, and verse 21, calamity will surely overtake the wicked uh, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. But Yahweh will redeem those who serve him. No one who takes refuge in him should be condemned. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So uh, that was Psalms 34. And uh, that has to go up there with the great sum of, of, of the first 33 Psalms we read already. And, uh, and we're going to continue to do this every day and just encourage you to get in the word every day and share this with others. And anyone that's, that seems like they're having some times that aren't too good or going bad, let them see this, let them hear this, and let them live this. And you as well, consistently, consistently be with our creator, take refuge in him. You know, So we got praying, we got proclaiming, we got praising, we got reading the word, that's listening is reading, is listening. And uh, we got repenting, is to turn, to turn around, to turn from our evil ways, and to be righteous, and submit, submitting to his will for us, hallelujah. Not our own will, his will, and what he wants. All right, uh, you guys can go on my website, TorahLifeMinistries.org, and see more readings every day and join the YouTube channel, Torah Life Ministries. I'm um, also on Facebook Live and other various media outlets. Uh, thank you for joining today and getting the word, staying the word. I got a lot of videos I'll be posting on my website this week. Until then, everybody, have a blessed day and shalom, shalom. I'm out of the world, all oh, my people, seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's ways, Torah life ministries, come out of the world. Oh.